Supermassive games are known for many things. Their convoluted stories with your choices shaping them, twists and turns along the way with a good amount of horror and gore included. But one thing that makes every Supermassive game stand out as well is the inclusion of a very well-known actor that portrays one of the main characters. At least that's the case for the Dark Pictures Anthology, and not at all in the quarry the entire cast is made up out of popular actors. In today's video, I want to take the time to highlight 5 actors that I would personally love to see in Season 2 of the Dark Pictures anthology. Trust me, there are much more than just 5 actors whose work I truly love and adore, which I would enjoy seeing in one of my favorite video game franchises, but given there are 5 confirmed titles and the Dark Pictures anthology usually only feature one big name per game, I will narrow it down to 5. I must add though that all of the actors mentioned here today are quite the big names, with which I am not trying to say that Sean Ashmore, Will Poulter, Ashley Tisdale and Jesse Buckley aren't. The thing is though, when you hear these names, you don't think about horror, and all 4 are much more known for the projects beyond the genre. My picks are they are certified horror legends, actors that if you look at them and hear their names, you will instantly remember them for the iconic roles in some of our favorite horror movies across the past half century. Which also means that my picks aren't necessarily realistic, to say the least. But hey, we did get Lin Shay and David Arquette in the quarry, two actors very well known for the roles in Insidious and Scream. Oh, and mentioning Scream and David Arquette, I think it's time for me to show you my first pick. <laughs> Not in my movie. I hope that we can all agree that Scream is one of the best horror franchises of all time, and I'm so glad that it's back stronger than ever in recent years. The original Scream is arguably one of the most influential horror movies to be ever made, and one of the big reasons for that were not just the memorable premise and killers, but the badass final girl Sidney Prescott, portrayed by Neff. Campbell. Scream is not just one of my favorite horror franchises, Sydney is also one of my favorite final girls. Scream itself would actually work so well as a super massive game that it's no wonder that Neff in a similar role would totally rock it in a Dark Pictures anthology. She's a great actress in general and the relationship with Dewey across the films was always so well portrayed. She would suit any role that the games would put her into and she's just generally awesome, okay? And as mentioned, having had both Hayden Panettiere and David Arquette already in the games, even if they were the major standalone ones, it would simply feel great to make it a Scream trio and CNF in one of the five upcoming titles. From one Campbell to another, and one that's just as awesome. I mean, come on, who doesn't love Evil Dead and the face of the franchise as Jay Williams portrayed by Bruce Campbell? Given the fact we've got Ted Raimi in the quarry and even had an Evil Dead reference in the game, two of them actually, I just want the man himself, okay? Like, I don't think I even need to go into further detail as to why I would love to see him in the games. The name speaks for itself, and we could all imagine how entertaining it would be in a setting like this. From his dialogue to his charm, he would make one hell of a lead character in form of Mike or Sam that takes a center stage fighting a rising evil once again, this time in video game form, with our choices at the forefront. It would be too damn groovy, and it's easily one of my most wanted actors for the franchise. See, thus far we only know a few things about one of the five titles in Season 2. All other games could be anything, so I couldn't really tell you which I could see either Campbell to work the best in. Now for my third pick though, you guys know that Sigourney Weaver would absolutely rock it in Directive 8020. Alan Ripley is one of the most iconic horror protagonists ever. Weaver had the perfect combination of badassery and charm to own the role the way she did, and with her experience with aliens, it would just be too perfect to see her return to space, this time for the Dark Bridges Anthology Season 2's opener. That might be a little too cliche, and some would think that putting a bank into such setting would just be trying to channel nostalgia, and that might be true to some degree, but I just really loved her in that role, and who would love to see her reprise it in similar form in another Spain-themed horror video game? I really gotta check out Alien Isolation, by the way. And hey, you could put her into any of the other four titles with a different setting as well, and I would be just as happy. Sigourney Weaver simply rocks, and having her in one of my favorite horror franchises besides Alien would simply be epic. <laughs> From three actors that proved themselves horror legends within their own franchises a long time ago to someone leading two of the greatest horror movies in the past decade. Daniel Kaluuya has already solidified himself as one of my favorite modern horror actors with his amazing performances in Get Out and Nope. These two movies alone have really showcased how much Daniel brings to the table and I feel like he has the perfect charm and presence that would work as a lead character in a Dark Pages Dology game. Again, it's really dependent what kind of game they will aim for but it really feels like he could work in any of them from what I've seen 
Medan. What if it's more suspension, atmosphere driven like Men of Medan, dialogue and supernatural focus like Little Hope, action, story heavy like House of Ashes, automatic and historic like The Devil and Me. I could picture him in any idea that we've seen before and whatever supermassive games could have in store. He's just incredibly talented and sympathetic and he would simply be an excellent pick for the Dark Pictures anthology. Now after showcasing 4 actors that will make for an incredible lead of our group of survivors, how about for our final pick, we do something a little bit different. Instead of a celebrity actor being one of the main characters that we need to keep alive, what if the actor is the villain and wants to kill us? I've never murdered anyone in my life. The decisions are up to them. Yeah, well putting a gun to someone's head and forcing them to pull the trigger is still a murder. Since one is forced a problem for you. If there is any actor that I would love to see portray a villain that is out to kill us in the Dark Witches anthology, then it's none other than him. Saw is one of my absolute favorite horror franchises, not just because of its traps and gore, but because of the convoluted storyline with the key centerpiece even after his death being the jigsaw killer John Kramer portrayed by Tobin Bell. The way he played this twisted and evil yet intriguing and entertaining psychopath is legendary to this day. Seeing him in a similar role in a super massive game would be untouchable. The way he delivers dialogue and executes the ideology of the character is everything. We've only had one proper human antagonist thus far, but that one didn't really talk, so imagine someone like Dumat, but with the presence and sharp tongue like Tobin Bell has. How freaking awesome would it be? I would absolutely love it, and it would be probably my most anticipated pick of all today. You can still fix this, John. Yeah, but can we fix you? I mean, I'm not fixable. Now, even though the title of the video says 5, I actually want to add a 6, very special and unique pig that I know is 100% unlikely. Now, I think we can all agree that Pip Torrens is perfect as a curator and highlight every single time in all games. But if there was to ever be the necessity to have someone else do the job, then my dream pick would be... Have you ever walked out of a mall into a huge parking area and realized... You'd forgotten where you parked your car. Now, most people that hear the name would instantly think of Star Trek, but I'm pretty sure that thousands of other young German adults will instantly have to think of his world in X Factor, Das Unfassbare, or known to international audiences as beyond belief, fact, or fiction. It's one of my earliest experiences with spooky media, some of the stories even leaving me traumatized as a kid. It felt both wrong yet so right to watch and has become an absolute classic for me, in some way childhood. And the centerpiece of all that was Jonathan Frakes as moderator of the show, him taking a similar role, now as a curator in the Dark Pages anthology, one of my favorite franchises of all time, it would be an absolute dream come true. He's a 5 plus 1 special bonus actor that I would love to see in the second season of the Dark Pages Anthology. What do you think of my picks and what are 5 actors that you would love to see in the upcoming games? Tell me down below in the comments, as well as leaving a like if you enjoyed the video and a subscription if you want to support me. This will be the last super massive games in video for now, as soon as new information surrounding season 2 will be revealed, I'll be back. Till then, stay safe, healthy and happy, and thank you for watching.